in a lot of airports on Wednesday in a lot of different cities. And in one of the cities in Newark, I stopped. I had a lot of time, so I went to get some coffee. And I wanted to have flavored coffee. So I asked them if the coffee is kosher, the chocolate they gave me. They took out the thing. They showed me the very, very handful and everything. And then after I finished coffee, I went by and I started to say I, thank you to the person who made the coffee. And I said, this is the best coffee I've had today. And really what I wanted to say was, this is the only coffee I've had today. So I decided I better not do that because I saw the person was so happy that I had said thank you to them. Anyway, the person standing next to him said, why are you thanking them? I'm the one who, gave, who made the cup of coffee. I said, but she's the one who took my order. But they were now both fighting as to who deserved the thanks. And then, I guess it was the supervisor, who's the one who found me the bottle of chocolate to show me that it had a hashkafa on it, was also involved in this. And then it hit me, why? Here they are. They probably serve 500, 600, 1,000 cups of coffee a day to people who are in a rush and who never say thank you. And here's somebody who came by and said thank you to the person for the cup of coffee. And they felt good because of that, that someone recognized what they did. In fact, they do it for everyone who is there, but most people don't have a chance or think of saying thank you to someone. But the word thank you meant so much to them because it made them into a person who was appreciated. A wonderful thought to keep with us. A good Arab Shabbos to you.